Ultra Pro dividers. What are they even designed for? We're going to put them to the test against a number of different card storage options to find out. So guys, with a pack of dividers, you'd think it's pretty straightforward, right? You just put them in a package and divide your cards. But based on the size of these, I'm not so sure. And the packaging is quite ambiguous. It just says for card collection and sectionalizing cards. But what does that mean? So we're gonna test against an Ultra Pro standard deck box, two piece storage box and top loader combo. And then from other brands, also this Gamegenic card case, as well as a standard large cardboard storage box. So let's bust these dividers open and start testing, but make sure you've liked the video and subscribed so you don't miss our next review. Let's crack in. Okay, quite thick and the top doesn't look like it has a crease in it, which some dividers I've noticed have. So this means this divider is not intended to be folded. So the very first thing we're gonna test these on is the reason I bought these in the first place, and that's for an Ultra Pro standard deck box. So let's chuck it in and see how it goes. Ooh, so that's already, yeah, that is much too high for that to close, which just goes to show that these are definitely not intended for a standard Ultra Pro deck box. So guys, I'm honestly pretty disappointed. I mean, I bought this thinking it would fit a standard Ultra Pro deck box, and I'm sure looking at the packaging, others would too, though I may be mistaken. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, on to the next test. So we're gonna try this Ultra Pro two-piece box, okay? And I have some cards in here as well. Um, so let's take those out. And we have this from one of our other opening, and oh, don't forget to subscribe. So we're gonna chuck these back in and put the divider alongside and see if it'll even fit. So, no, nah, look at that. That's basically gotta go at an angle to get anywhere close and there's no way that that would fit otherwise. So another disappointing result for the card dividers. Well, let's keep testing. So next up we have the Ultra Pro Top Loader Combo Box, which we reviewed in another video if you wanna check that out. But I think that uh, this should have the height that we're looking for. So let's take our divider and pop that in. And yes, that does in fact fit in a Ultra Pro Top Loader Combo Box. So this box is designed to hold top loaders and obviously if you wanted to sort them with the dividers, this is a good way to do so. Okay, so let's move on to the non-Ultra Pro branded stuff now. So we have this Gamegenic magnetic card box. Okay, so I've got a Magic the Gathering deck in there and we're gonna try with this Ultra Pro divider and look at that, too tall. So very similar to the uh, Ultra Pro, just doesn't look like the standard card heights are designed for these dividers, unfortunately. So guys, that leaves us with our final test and that is the cardboard card storage box, all right? So we're gonna bring this ahead and open it up to see what's inside. As you can see, I've got a large amount of cards in here that there's already some dividers sorting it, but we're gonna test with the old Ultra Pro and see how we go. So we'll drop that in and yeah, unfortunately, again guys, it's just simply too tall. So if we try and close that, it's gonna, it's gonna actually block it from doing so, unfortunately. So look, we've only had one thing that this fits into, but um, yeah, that's, it is what it is. So guys, make sure you've liked the video because here come the results. Everything on the left, we were not able to fit the Ultra Pro card divider in. And the single thing on the right, which we were, was this Ultra Pro top loader combo, which we have done a review on if you haven't seen it. So guys, I want you to be dead honest with me. Was I foolish for assuming that these would fit in an Ultra Pro deck box? I certainly didn't get the impression that they wouldn't based on the packaging, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. But guys, if you do own a top loader combo box or know another use case for these dividers and want to get your hands on a set, I've left a link for you in the description below. And because you're into trading cards, I'm leaving you with this playlist for all our trading card reviews and also this personal recommendation where we tried to shove as many cards as we could into this Ultra Pro deck box. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.